Now show me the mechanism. Now this is very important now. Show me the me mechanism of the entire globe reading the Quran in the same way today, 14 centuries later. But it isn't being read in the same way today. It's being read differently. Depending Brother, on the different books. You yeah. go, you go on, you forget what I'm saying. Just go on YouTube. Go and look at a five-year-old memorizing the Quran. Five-year-old. But which Quran is he memorizing? The Hafs Quran? Ah, the Quran or the Bosch Quran? So this is beautiful what you just said here. Okay. Seriously, I don't know how that Ninety-five percent of the globe read Hafs al-Asim. Yeah, that's true. Yes. And Hafs is the most popular one. Yes, yeah, right? Yeah. So when that five-year-old reads, another five-year-old is able to correct even the mispronunciation of a letter. Now you need to demonstrate to me the mechanism of how that happens if you had mass corruption 14 centuries ago. I don't, I don't believe that there is any issue in having a child recite a particular version of the Quran. What I'm saying is the Quran, in, in, in the Hafs Quran, we can compare the manuscripts, they're different. You're missing the logical argument. Yeah, it sounds like what you're saying is, we you're, can still say the Quran is preserved. You're missing... Because we can say that there are different readings no, that are valid. I'm, and I'm saying, no, well, if you say no, that, no, that sounds very much like no, what Christians say. No, what I'm saying is that every cause has an effect. Okay. For an effect to be seen, there are only a limited number of causes that can generate that effect or sometimes only one cause that can actually generate that effect. We have the Quran today globally being read. Forget to the letter. If, if this brother doesn't stretch the alif enough, he doesn't say, ah, he'll be corrected. Yeah, but that's the same with Christians. Christians can memorize their scripture and do the same Have thing. Have they? Yeah. Which Christians? There are many Christians you can find who will recite entire things from memory. There is not one Christian, and this is a challenge now to the camera. There is not one Christian out of the two billion that exist on this planet that have memorized the entire Bible word for word, letter for letter. This is an open challenge to you. Okay. But there are Christians who've memorized entire books of the Bible, yes? What did I just say to you? You said the entire Bible. Have they? Well, I don't know. I don't know if that's humanly possible because the Torah and the Tanakh and the Gospels are, well, that's a lot. The Quran is forget like the, tiny forget the, forget the Forget everything. Okay. Just the New Testament. Okay. N never. There was a program a few years ago, I saw an article, the Guinness Book of World Records. There was a man sitting in a church who had attempted to memorize the whole of the Bible. He didn't break the Guinness Book of World Records. He didn't get the, he didn't meet the challenge. Now the question, and I ask you again, you need to now explain the mechanism that has to be necessary for there to be complete, utter preservation today. Okay, the mechanism and is And you simple. can't do it. The oldest manuscripts need to conform to what is the standardized version today, which I'll say is the Hafs Quran. They don't, so it's game You're over. You're absolutely wrong on that. It's I not game over. I can forward it to you now. The, listen, you can forward me some uh, picture or some whatever. I'm, I'm quoting to you an authority. Yeah. Angel and Neweth, can you quote me any yeah. authority? Most scholarly uh, opinion of, the, of uh, the top copy and the different manuscripts you have yes. are not said to be with manic. That's not, listen there to is, me. Listen. That is the, that is okay, the so, so you're going back to mass corruption then, aren't you? When you see, when you say terms like that, be careful how you say it, right? When you say mass corruption, all I'm saying to you is that the text of the Hafs Quran is not the same as the so, earliest manuscripts. So, so they're, they're, not the, they're not the same as today's, yes? Is that what no, you're arguing? That's what I'm saying, yes. Okay, so why are they all reading it in one way? What's the mechanism, how, how that happens? Because, supposedly, Uthman standardized them. So right. the earliest manuscripts we have, which are not Uthmanic, differ from the ones that are written today in the So Hafs did Uthman standardize it or not standardize it? I don't know, the, the st standard Islamic narrative is that he burned the ones that didn't agree with his narrative, the Qureshi narrative. So you say that didn't agree with his narrative, where did he get this from? Well, this is recorded in your hadith. This which hadith? Recorded. Show me which hadith says that he didn't agree with his narrative. Show me where it says that. No, this is Sahih al Bukhari, the sister who was here. Yeah, yeah. Well, get that. Uh, get, show, me, show, show me where it says that because he didn't agree with his narrative. He burned no, no, them. No, no, no. It was, it was the, the narration that um, there were different people that were saying, look, there are different readings of this. So that's not what we, you just said, isn't it? What are you talking about? I just said. Listen to me. A reasonable man, a reasonable woman, when they see preservation. 14 centuries later, they have to come up with a mechanism of how that's possible. Now you're talking to me about manuscripts. Yes. Is that our primary source of, uh, of uh, preservation? Yes. Are you going to say it's your old tradition? No. no it's it's not. not. Which? It's not. Which oral tradition? Sorry? Which oral tradition? Which oral tradition? The tradition of... you with as many. The... 
the tradition of hafaz, of memorizing the Quran. Right. This well, is our primary way of preservation. Well, like I said, in, in Sahih Abu Khai, in, in your hadith, it talks about an occasion where they disagreed about which is the correct one. Okay. And so it was decided that the Qureshi dialect was the correct one. Okay. And then Uthman burnt all other manuscripts, whole or in part, that were not of that tradition. Okay. Right. So, so what, what does that mean? So what, so what, so so what does that mean? The earliest manuscripts we have today do not conform to the Hafs Quran. Okay. There so, are, so if they don't conform to the Hafs Quran, mm -hmm. please present to me the mechanism right. as to how we have the Quran completely preserved today. It is. And that. And, 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 uh, and, so, so, okay. You see, for your argument to be true, something has to happen. And I'll explain to you what that would be. Okay. You would have different people reciting different Qurans. Okay. There are different Qurans though, aren't there? Hold on a second. Okay. You'd have to have different people reciting different Qurans. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can find that. Those teachers will yeah. teach their students yeah. those different Qurans. Okay. And over time, over 14 centuries, what, you will, what will happen is what has happened to the Bible. No agreement of what book is in the Bible and out of the Bible. Which verse was spoken by Jesus and not spoken by Jesus? But this is the same thing. Oh, now hold on a second, hold on a second. Do we have this issue in Islam? In Islam you did. You did. Do we? Because in, in the early uh, caliphate didn't know which surahs to include. So when did you, we have this problem, sorry? Right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. Yeah, and then you, you took the ones that you agreed upon and okay. you burnt the remaining ones. So what happened to all the Hufaz at that time? They were there. What I'm saying is, is that there is disagreement in the earliest... What happened community. to all of the memorizers of the Quran at that time? Well, a lot of them were killed. Yeah. In the battle of your mama, yeah? Yes, yes. And how many survived? Well, uh, well enough to cause concern within the early uh, Ummah because they were saying uh, many people, it's recording the hadith, yes. many people who have recited the Quran have died. Yes. We're getting concerned. We need to start writing this down. Yes. No, no, hold on a second. So you're right to some extent. Okay. There was a fear. Yes, it's recorded in the, in the yes, hadith. Yes, that after the battle of Yamama, that some 70, 80 Hufaz were uh, killed, right? Sure. That if this continues, and we lose all of the Hufaz, there was a fear that we could lose the Quran. Don't, don't. Uh, 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 hold on a second. Okay, was that fear materialized? There was uh, some understanding that parts of the Quran had been lost. For example... Was that fear materialized? Yes. Let so me the Hufaz how. were all killed? Let me, let, no, let me explain how. No, no. What? Let me answer your question. You're not answering you're, my, you're not I, answering my I'm question. I'm just trying to. No, you're not. There I said to you, no. There is a surah or verse in the Quran which talks about stoning that um, Aisha uh, supposedly looked after, but it was eaten by a sheep, I believe. That was supposedly meant to be in the Quran. Subhanallah. But it wasn't in the Quran. The sheep, the sheep is coming. <laughs> you, do, 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 yes, it's recorded in our hadith right, that the okay. sheep ate that, that manuscript. Yes. Did it but eat it? Is there a verse Hold on a second. in the Quran? Did it eat that manuscript from the memories of all the Hufaz as well? Then why is it not in the Quran? The Quran that we have today doesn't include that. With the Quran that we have today is the Quran that was recited by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. We have we have chains of Hufaz memorizers that go right back to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. I've got it on my phone if I can pull it out. Right yeah. now, the point is this, and I make my argument very uh, very simply. If there is corruption, if there is change. If things are lost, you will never ever get one unified reading 14 centuries later. It can never happen. Right, okay, because if this brother has read, if this brother has memorized a different Quran, yes. and he believes that that was from God, yeah, and one. I have memorized another one, yeah, yeah. and I believe that that's from God, yeah, yeah. I will never teach my students his yeah. version of the Quran, yeah. Yeah. and he will never teach his students my okay. version of the Quran. And, what we, and, and hold on a second, hold on a second, yeah. okay. and what will happen over time is that you will have many versions being yeah. recited by different segments. Pakistan will have its own version. Yeah. Sudan will have its own version. America will have its own version. That is kind of what it is. Do we find... Yeah, in Africa, in Africa, the Walsh, the Walsh Quran is, more, uh, is popular there. There are certain... Er Morocco, I think, Brother, you're not being there. honest here. I'll be honest with you here. But I am being you're honest. You're really no, not. You're really no, not. That's not true. I've explained to you... Is there a Walsh Quran? Brother, if you go to Mauritania, yes? Yes. In Mauritania, they in some masjids, some mosques, some madrasas, they still can't afford the actual copy of the Quran. Yes, you know how they spread the Quran, how they teach it? Still till today, through memory. The Hafiz, the Hufaz writes the verse down. The students write it on a slate. They memorize it. And the next day, 
it's rubbed off and the, 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 the Imam writes another few verses and they this is how they memorize the Quran. The issue you're going to have is that in the earliest manuscripts, I can tell you, if the reading is the same as the Hafs Quran, then it differs with the earliest manuscripts. Okay, so what should you find here today? What should, should happen? Well, if it was perfectly preserved, then they would be the same, yes? Yeah, so what should happen today? Uh, but they're not the same. So what should happen today if that was true? You would find that the earliest manuscripts would correlate to exactly what either the oral teaching is or the Hafs Quran. And you would find the recital of that Quran to be different. Yeah, it is different from the earliest It's not different. It's not different yeah. at all. Well, do, you know the, do, 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 you know the, do you know the folio that was found in Birmingham? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know when it was carbon dated? Yeah, anywhere from the late 6th century to 7th century. No, it was actually dated late uh, yeah late 6th century which is yeah. 580 something yeah, yeah. up to about slightly 6 7 Muhammad. slightly before muhammad yeah slightly, slightly well that's there, yeah. look <laughs> if you if you cast an ass assertion that well, because it, because it's carbon dated to potentially because carbon dating is not an exact science yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't have, i wouldn't even like use it in this case i would actually well, just study the text you wouldn't use it in this case i would study the really text. no because there are better methods you would read the text and see whether or not the the style of writing yeah. is specific to the earliest period um, and then we can defer yes. from that what period it comes from yes yeah do you know how do you know how textual critics mm -hmm. Analyze texts. Yep. How do they do it? So they have um, what's the name of the word now? Paleography. Uh, paleography. That's one. Yes. Styles of paleography. So yes. you can understand exactly. Yes. This, it's written in this type of way. Yes. That dates to this type of yes. period. Carbon you, dating. Carbon dating is one. Yeah. That's, yes. a, that's a more modern way. Yes. Uh, another one is that you look at. I forgot the name of it, but you look at the. Um, you look at all the details of the manuscript. So, for example, in some manuscripts, you may notice things like um, you can tell if they were part of a codice before or musaf, like a book, or whether they were singular manuscripts or scrolls. Yes. And you can analyze that. So, what do we find? So, what do we find with the Birmingham folio? Um, I'm this not is sure particularly. potentially at the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I could be. We find two or three things, and uh, probably many more. But as a layperson, number one, we find the surah order, same as it is today. Yes? Allah, yes. Second thing we find is the, the surah itself can be read by somebody who reads the Quran today. Yeah. But in order for Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Not a letter. Not a letter. Yeah. Not a letter. No letter. Not a letter so, missed. So Not a letter Birmingham missed. The portfolio is an exact identity to the Hab, uh, Hab's Quran today. Do you, do, do, you, do you understand how linguistic works? Yes. And, and how written texts work? Yes. So, for example, in English, we may have a letter A yeah. that may be re written in a certain way. Yeah. And as time progresses, that letter can be slightly maybe changed, but the reading of it is exactly the same. same. Yes? Yeah, but you know, you're saying the same thing as a Christian say. No, no. You are. You're no. Saying that you can I'll let him finish. It, yeah. And every time there's any deviances, and there are some quite substantial ones recorded. There are people at the park that point this out. That if you look at the earliest manuscripts, they often say things that are actually fundamentally different. No. They do though. Okay, look. Okay. Did, what did I explain to you? You're trying to say. What is our reading. mechanism for preservation? You make it, so it's all tradition. You're going to oral tradition. tradition. Right. How many people do we have today that have completely memorized okay. the Quran? Which Quran have they memorized? How have they many? Memorized the Hafs Quran? Hafs, Quran? Hafs al Asim. How many millions of people have memorized Hafs al Asim? But you need to ask what version of it. Are you talking There's about There's only the one version of Hafs al Asim. So if I look at manuscript tradition and I look at the different sources. Do you know how many memorizers there are? My friend, memory isn't going to help you because then I'm going to ask you what do they memorize? How many? Okay, but are they memorizing different Qurans? Well, if you memorize the Walsh Quran and the Hafs Quran and the Dalek, have, have, yes. the, have these millions of people who have memorized Hafs al Asim memorized different Qurans? No. You're just arguing for the sake of arguing now. Yeah. You really are. No, you are. I, I think it's, it's quite clear. You can't argue. Have they memorized different Qurans? So there would be those that would have memorized the Walsh Quran, the Dalek Quran, the you know Hafs Quran. the answer you're looking for? And the answer is yes. No, the answer is no. Why is that to know? The answer is no. How can I have two Because I can demonstrate that. And you're saying I can, the same I, can, I can demonstrate that physically going into a madrasa in Luton and going into somewhere in Sudan and they'll actually read it letter for letter, pronunciation for pronunciation. Okay. This is a scholar who's looked into it, a scholar in Arabic, who reads Arabic, who's yes. gone through this, and he can point out in this book, yes. he actually writes the different um, changes in the original manuscripts compared to the Hafs Quran today. How many memorizers of the Hafs al Asim today? But what's the point? If you've memorized the Hafs Quran, and what are you going to use to validate that? You use the Hafs Quran, right? How, how many, so you read how, the Hafs how many Quran. people have memorized it? So let's say millions. millions. So, yeah. Okay, so okay, we have these on, millions. Okay, hold on a second now. Can some of these millions who have what is called ijaza, which is a confirmed 
verified link of scholarship go right back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Yeah. Can they do that? Right, so, Ajmir, if you. So, we have something in our tradition called Ijazah. Okay? okay? So, it's not about hearsay. If this brother memorizes the Quran and he gets what's called Ijazah, he gets a certificate of authentication from his scholar who has a certificate of authentication from his scholar with every single name, who these people were, where they studied, what their families were, what country they were from, right the way back up to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. A chain of narration. Are you aware of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are aware of that? Yeah. yeah. Now, now show me, with that mechanism in place, how do you get corruption? Because you look at the earliest written sources and they differ from what you have today. Okay, so you look at That's the earliest right. written sources. Yes, in yes? your manuscripts, okay. they've been recorded Do we rely upon preservation through written text? Oh, so you're basically saying, okay, well, the written question. text, we can't trust it because it has I'm not changed. saying that. I'm not well, saying that. Well, you are, because every time I mention no. it, you go, okay, but the, the, no, no. the traditional but if memorizing... I, but if I've given you a mechanism... Yeah, but the mechanism has to start off with the original it, source. Yeah, what was the, the original source? source? was written down. No, it wasn't, not, no, that wasn't the original source. So the people who had the oral tradition yes. did not write it down? No, I'm not saying that. But, right. the, but so, the original source was the oral tradition. Yeah. You've, just, you've just said right, that. Right, right, right. Which, according to you, does not relate to the actual manuscripts. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, so it did relate to the of manuscripts. Of course. Okay, of course. the manuscripts we have do not conform the Hafskar. The Uthmani Quran that we have today, the skeletal Uthmani... We don't have the copies of the original Uthmani. Okay, what's, we, the, earliest, we, what's the earliest Qurans that we, we have? We'll take uh, the top copy, we'll say the Birmingham portfolio. We'll say that's well, No, no, the complete Quran. Uh, I can't remember that. Cairo edition? Cairo. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent complete. Sure. Yeah. Does it? But in, in, does it read? Does it? If you recite that, is it different from the Quran that I would read today? Yes, in Hajj. Yeah. Not at all. You don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? The earliest. Another yeah. another Quran, Top Copy Museum. Do I, if I read that Quran, is it going to be different from the Quran that I'm reading today? No. <laughs> so this is the. So stuff in my codex, as compared with the 1924 Cairo text, which is the Hafs Quran, he's pointing out where something was written over here. Okay. Who's this? Who's this uh, scholar? This is you're Daniel Dubaker. Uh, Daniel Alan uh, Brubaker. Brubaker. Yeah. Corrections. Okay. Let me just let me just explain something to you about Brubaker. Okay. Do you know this guy? Yeah, I do know him very well, in fact. Okay. Yes. He's a, he's a, a companion of uh, Yasser. Uh, Yasser. Yeah. Yeah. He's been completely and utterly. Com this this person has been completely and utterly dismantled. I'll even give you the video, you can go and watch <laughs> to show me. Where's the video it. from? Huh? What's the video from? The video is yeah. from uh, Brother Mansour is here. Uh, we have also Brother Farid, Brother Farid. And I think it was Brother uh, Ijaz. Okay. They have... No, no, hold on a second. I'm, I'm now explaining how they dismantled his argument. Because when he wrote this book, they went and they said, okay, let's have a look at his arguments. Brubaker's arguments were that he found a manuscript that didn't agree with the Uthmani manuscript. So Brother Ijaz, and, who is, mashallah, a very, very, uh, let's say, well-learned person on, criti on, on critical matters of textual criticism, he said, how would you arrive at a reasonable, sensible, honest conclusion of corruption or change? There's like, two or three things that you would do. Number one, you would look if there were other manuscripts at that time that were actually correct and that one potentially could have a scribal error. Yes. So they pull out manuscripts from that time which don't have that word in there. Wallahi alim. You know, then, it just sounds like the then, they, then they say, let's look at manuscripts that came before the one that Brubaker is saying is wrong. This is some of the earliest Do we have that word in there? And in fact, you do have the word in there. Then we look at the oral tradition. Is that word recited this way? And it is recited that way. Now, brother, you tell me. Is that an honest scholar? Yes? And what does Brubaker say in reply? Because I think Yasser Qadi made a, uh, Yasser Qadi made a video against him they as both, well. They both studied at the same place. It doesn't matter, but the, his methodology, but Yasser Qadi openly criticized his methodology. Yeah. What does Brubaker's response? I don't respond to these people. Yes? No, it wasn't I don't, response. Yes, it was. Response. I, I've response. seen his response. He his said, response was... He, um, he says, I don't respond to these people because, to be, he said, to be fair, they're not on my academic level. Wait, that's not what he said. I've seen his video. What he should have said <laughs> is, let me look at what they've said yeah, exactly. and do I have evidence to counter 
You're bringing me a book from Brubaker. Yeah, a scholar. I have a scholar who's respected scholar and I've quoted, the level of the Asakai. And I've quoted you a scholar that, that this boy would serve her, her, her tea. Okay? <laughs> no, this it. Brubaker would serve her tea. Angela Neweth. Okay, but the consensus Angela, is that we do not have... What does Angela Neweth say? Angela Neweth, the foremost expert you, most scholars on the Quranic textual criticism, she says... The argument of preservation is over, it is over. with we the Quran. Yeah. We know it's over. She said the number of manuscripts that we are now finding that confirm what we no, have today. There are differences in what the Hafs Quran is today. Brother, you know what? You're, you're like a broken record, really. Yeah, but you're saying the same yeah, thing, yeah. so I'm no. saying Okay, so I go back to my original point. Show me the mechanism, how how 95% of the Muslim population are reading Hafs al-Asim. Okay. And if they make a mistake of even a vowel, they will be corrected by somebody else purely from memory. That doesn't have anything to do with what I'm saying. Show me the mechanism of how that happens, that please. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Without preservation. I am saying that the original manuscripts have differences in with the standardized okay. Hafsa Quran. Okay, let me then... The your game is over. Since you're, like you since you're repeating something, I'll repeat what I said to you as well. Is, it is, our, is our primary what source... What is our, no, no. Is our primary source of preservation through the written text? I would say, yeah. No. Which scholar says Where that? Where does the oral tradition Which come Muslim from? scholar has said that? Which Muslim scholar said that? Which scholar said that? So basically, the, the manuscript tradition you have has not been preserved. Shall I, tell, shall I, been shall I explain to you why the oral tradition is far superior to the written text? Shall I explain that to you? Shall I explain the mechanism to well, you why it is not, the case? Um, most Muslims don't know the Quran enough. To Shall I explain that to you? Know. Shall I explain why the oral text is so strong? Oh, yeah. Shall I explain that to you? Go okay, on. let me explain that to you. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam, recites the verses to the people as they are narrated. Some of the companions, they memorize those verses immediately. Now look at the miracle of the Quran. The Quran is revealed over 23 years. Yes. Yes? yes. Is it revealed in order from Surah Baqarah no. to Surah? No, it's not. It's revealed what to the onlooker would seem random. Yes. Yes? Yes. The Quran was often a consequential revelation. Something happened. The Prophet gets wahi. Yes. He gets a revelation there and then. Yes? He gives those verses and then he instructs the people these verses are to go in Surah Baqarah and they go before this verse and that verse. Did the verses have numbers at that time? No. No. Nothing. So the Prophet would instruct them that these four verses or these five verses have to be placed between those verses. Now the Quran is revealed over 23 years. Subhanallah. Can anything be memorized when it's being revealed in this way? Yes, but it was. Yes, but well it was, right? Now, those companions that have memorized the Quran had students. We have records of this. And they taught them the memorized Quran. Did they learn it from the Mus'haf? From the, from the binding of the Quran? No, no. no. They differed about no. what was meant to be oh, in the Quran. Brother, relax. We're getting oh, to that. Uh, yeah, but we're getting to that. You're, we're you're get, taking a long we're, time. We're, no, we're getting to that. But, okay. but, it's, but it's a, there's a lot of nuance to this argument. Okay, okay. It's not a yes or no, Lila. Yeah, what, okay. what I'm hearing so far now, is that, okay, yeah. It's okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. So now those students have students and we have a record till today. Yeah. Brothers and sisters have ijazah in the Quran. Who are your scholars? They'll pull out the scroll. My teacher was from here. My teacher was from here. This is the name of my teacher right the way up. Now, you have multiple lineages from the very first century of Islam. Some ending up in Syria, some ending up in Spain. Okay. And you go to Mauritania today. I told you, they don't even memorize it from the Mus'haf. They can't afford the Mus'haf. They don't have it. It's still being memorized by the oral tradition. But most no, 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 no. Hold on a second. I'm getting to the crunch line now. Okay, the punch you, you line. Let's be quick. Yeah? Now, let's quick. now, when these different lineages travel all over the world, and today you have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, who is reciting the Quran in Sudan, and one who's re reciting the Quran in China, how is it possible that if he makes a mistake of a letter or a pronunciation that the other one is able to correct him orally without looking at the mushaf? 
Okay. How is it possible? You're now, already... now but no. I'm just finishing now. Okay, okay. Now, the written text, you can burn all of the copies of the Quran. That phenomena of preservation exists till today. We witness it every day in the mosque. Yes. When the Imam is reciting the Quran, from, does he look at the Musaf when no. he's... No, Never. he's reading from memory. Different parts of the Quran. When he makes a mistake, we correct him. We correct him. We don't have the Quran. Either. We don't have the Quran either. Yeah, but what do you correct him based on? Do you correct him based on the wash interpretation of it? The, uh, the did you hear? The did you hear? Crime? Did you hear what I said to you about the oral tradition? Yes, okay, so are you telling me? Do that you the believe oral, that it's robust? Are there different oral traditions? No, there's not different oral no. traditions. No. So someone who memorizes the Quran in a place that he's using predominantly the world Quran is going to have exactly the same tradition as okay. someone all the way you, across you, the world. You know, brother. You know, brother. Can I just explain something to you? Yes. Okay. The, the tradition that I explained to you, show me where the floor is on that tradition. Oral tradition? Yes. 1,400 yes. years. Yes, show, show me the floor in that tradition. Because oral tradition changes varying on languages okay. and cultures. Okay, yeah? I agree, different cultures it does. I agree, have different it does. ways of saying different things. I agree, it does. Right, so now you end up with different variants. Yes. Even in the oral, you're yes. going to have people that say different things. Totally agree with you. Okay, cool. That so happens to everything then, else, I yes, agree, agree with you. Agree, agree. Yes, therefore, yes. you cannot say yes. that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Yes. Okay, cool. So, so hold on. So this, that's it. That's all, that's so, all it is, mate. So this always happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Always happens. Does it happen with the Quran? No, yes. Not. It happens with every book. Has it? I'm including the. Can Torah. you give me I'm evidence? The Show me the evidence. The Quran. Show me the evidence on that. Okay. So whenever, whenever a, a Quranic scribe writes down the Quran, if he writes it wrong or he makes an error, no, you, what made, happens? you made a claim. You made a claim. Okay, I'm asking you. What happens? No, no. You made a claim. What the scribe your, writes down. Your the claim Quran. was that the oral tradition always changes. Over 1,400 Always, years, yes. always changes, yes? Based on culture, based on language. I agree with you. Are, yeah. So if it's anything else, mm. other than a divine book mm. that is promised to be preserved, I agree that happens. I agree with you, okay? But now you have to show me. If I show uh, you... Uh, 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 now you have to show me. Why is it then that we don't see this in Islam? Of course you do. If I wanted to uh, memorize the Quran, if I was in a specific place, I think it's Morocco, and they use the uh, Walsh Quran in some places there, if I studied that and I memorized it, congratulations, I've just. I now have a wrong in oral tradition according to. Sorry, the wrong? One that comes why, on the why, why wrong? Why wrong? Who said it's wrong? Who said so the Walsh is wrong? a different oral tradition than the Hafs one, right? Okay. So, you know, okay. So you're so you're so what you're saying to me is that in Morocco they read the Warsh Quran, yes? Right. Can they trace their lineage back to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? I don't know. Is yes, that they, yes? Yes, they can. Okay. Do they have an oral tradition? I guess they probably do, yeah. From our own books, do we are we told that there were uh, there were different readings that the Prophet peace be upon him asked Gabriel to recite the Quran with? Yeah, yeah, different. We do. So what's the problem? So what's the problem? The problem is you cannot say what the original intent was because the original manuscripts How, do not conform to any of this. What are you going back to your same argument over and over again? Okay, okay, no, me, no, but you're, you're, you know you're, what you're doing is you're using the same argument, hoping for a different outcome. No, and no, it's not going to happen. I haven't here. actually addressed it. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, when they wrote this stuff down, the earliest manuscripts, it differs from what is the standardized version of the Hafs today. Do we do, 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 do we rely? Do we rely? on the oral tradition or the textual tradition for the Qur'an that if we I have today. If I wanted to learn about the Qur'an, would I read about it or would I listen to it? As an Arab or a non-Arab? A non-Arab. Non-Arab. You'd have to obviously get the text, wouldn't you? Right. Where but the text it, where, doesn't conform to the manuscript. Where, where does the text come from? Well, the text comes from manuscripts. That's how you... No. Trust, you, you, uh, so you're wrong again. It comes from the oral it. tradition. Did you know that today, when a printing press... The hafs, pr no, we know that the Do you know that when a printing press prints a new Qur'an, who, who checks that Qur'an? Who's, who's that Qur'an given to to check it? You give it to, uh, you check it based on manuscripts. No, no. you're wrong, you're wrong again. You would not check manuscripts. You're wrong again. You know who you give it to? You know who we give it to? The people who have claimed to memorize it. Oral recitals, memorizers. Bit, you but you've already said that there can be different variants. You, you know why? You know why? Because as I've explained to you, it's a concrete, robust it's concrete. That's really tradition. Dodging. You know, the, 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 the ancient manuscripts do not confer with the standardized. Do we rely on manuscripts? According to you, no, which is weird. So, what's the problem then? So, it doesn't matter what your manuscripts say, it doesn't matter if so, they were written so in the life so, of Muhammad. So it doesn't matter. I'm not saying that at no. all. You're, you're now, you now you're making a different Irving argument. The portfolio was likely written in the time of Muhammad. Let me ask you a question. So, we can look at that and see if it conforms to the Let me ask you, I, I, get, I gave you quite a, uh, an explanation okay. on the oral tradition of the Quran, the memorization, yes? 
Please point out the flaw as to how that could be corrupted. Different oral traditions change over time. Just Sh show me the mechanism. Never... Don't just tell me what, what you think. Like, yeah, what like mechanism? Chinese whispers. So Chinese whispers. Yeah, like if you say okay. something, okay, and, you, yeah. and things change. Yes, yeah, different languages, different okay. accents. What would different you? Regions, what would you? Ex different... What would you expect to happen 14 centuries later? I would expect different, uh, different versions of it. Are hundreds of versions, me, hundreds of versions, well, thousands of versions. In the well, in the earliest days, no, there was no that, agreement, that was no agreement of which Quran is the Quran, in right? Muhammad's, or in the early caliphate's time, yeah. there was that. Okay, show me so, where. Sh show you me. You already had it. Show me where. A few years within the Quran uh, uh, being written. Who said that this Quran is lost? That we don't have the Quran? No, no. The the um, the Quran was being recited in different versions, and all the you're going through the same thing over and over again. You don't now. Have a uh, I'm probably going to conclude You're, you're going through the same territory that we've already discussed. Okay, in which case then, there isn't anything more for us to yes. talk about. So yeah? now, now now, explain to me, not that Chinese whispers or this, that or the other. Which we know is a real thing. Okay, but if Chinese whispers are a real thing, have you ever played Chinese whispers? Yes. Is the message even recognizable after 10 or 15 people? No. No. If there were 50 different groups... I recommend this book, by the way. If there were 50 different groups... Who were each he given? Who were each given the original message? Yeah. And they all performed Chinese whispers. Would all of the Chinese whispers at the end of the 50 people in those chains be identical? No. Would you say that was probably impossible? Yeah. Uh, it's very unlikely. Very unlikely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we have one unified reading of the Quran? I don't think you do. And I think your manuscripts uh, support the fact that at some point they were probably having an Why do we have one unified reading of the Quran today? Tell me. You don't have one unified reading of the Quran today. I explained to you that, I explained to you that your 95, manuscripts 90, do not conform with brother, what you have written today. Brother, 95% of the Muslims read Hafs al Asim. Right, but there are do also you disagree? Than, no, Do you disagree no, no, with that? I don't disagree. Okay, you agree with, with that. that. Okay, hold yes. on, hold on, hold on. Now we're making some progress. I okay. don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if ninety-five percent of the Muslim Ummah is reading Hafs al Asim, mm -hmm. explain to me how all of them, one point eight billion, mm. out of that one point four, one point five billion, one point six seven sure. billion, yeah, yeah. are reading an identical Quran. Explain to me the mechanism okay. of how that happens. We're just going to go back and forth because I'm just going to say your earliest manuscripts don't fully. How, your, brother? How does that happen? How does that happen? Because scribes make errors over time. How is there one unified reading today? How does that happen? My friend, I, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. No, I, I think you're saying. deliberately <laughs> misunderstanding what I'm I saying. I, 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 I have a book from a scholar that shows you that manuscripts Listen, are different, and you're saying. Look, let me explain something to you. Yes, you're picking one scholar who agrees with your opinion. Yes. No, this is the majority oh, oh, view. Hold on a second. No. This is, yeah, it is. This the majority is, view is this scholarship. Is one, this is one scholar. There are new manuscripts. Okay. Yeah, of course there is. Okay. Yes, the Kali agrees okay. with this. Majority scholarship. He, he, he takes okay. a different view of it. Okay. He agrees okay. with what okay. this guy is saying. Majority scholarship, yes? Do the majority of scholarship look at the oral tradition? Well, no, they look at manuscripts. They don't, do they? But the oral tradition cannot be quantified How, hold on a second. until it's written. I've asked you a very simple question. I just answered it. Do the bulk of scholarship look at the oral tradition of the Quran? The bulk of scholarship is concerned about your manuscripts. Brother, your manuscripts uh, why are you making this complicated? Written. I'm not, I'm telling you. The answer how is we know no, isn't it? The answer is no. What is written? So the answer is no. Right. Because they don't you look at from a historical uh, hold on perspective. A second. Know what whether you can whether you can or you can't needs to be demonstrated. It's a historical method. Hold, you on, can't a do it. hold on a second. I, you've agreed with me that the scholarship that we have today is only interested in the textual criticism. Yes. Right. Because anything else is not tangible. Uh, anything else is not tangible. Yes, because okay. I can't prove what people okay, have done. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So I showed you a mechanism of preservation through the oral tradition. Which I cast doubt on. Hold on a second. There are many reasons why you would yeah. doubt that. When you doubt something, yeah. you have to give reasons why right. you doubt Here's it. Here's my reason. The hold earliest on. manuscripts do not conform right. to what is thought of us today. As then, the then, plan. then, yeah. you have to provide evidence. Yeah as to why that reality has materialized. Because the now, earliest manuscripts do not conform to what right, you think is the oral tradition which today. Would, which would then mean... Either that, one of them's wrong. Which would then mean, okay. logically, rationally, yeah. you would have multiple, multiple, uncountable readings and recitations you of the Quran in the, today. In the, early, uh, in the early period, you did. So, okay, so now you're arguing that in the early period, you had multiple readings. Yes, and Uthman standardized them. How? Um, okay, when did Uthman standardize them? Since Sahih al-Bukhari. When did he standardize them? 
uh, in the early period. I don't know exactly what time. Uh, but in the reign of Uthman the Caliphate. Uh, okay, so Uthman took the Caliphate 13 years after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, passed away. 13 years. Do you know how many Huffaz memorizers were around at that time? How many? Well, there's a, there's a doubt as to whether or not certain people may have perished in the battle of your mama, depending on whether or I didn't ask there. you that question. Well, that's relevant I mean, to what you just asked no, 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 me. No, no, no. You just said no, no. how many were there. Yeah. I said, I don't know, yes. but there are... So just say I don't know. Call. Okay, but there are the cause that say yes. there was a question of whether or not yes. it, some parts have been lost. But that, see, that's an irrelevant point, and I'll explain to you why. I'll tell you why it's, I'll tell you why it's irrelevant. If I ask you how many there were, it's irrelevant how many there weren't. It's irrelevant. Or how right. many may die, well, have died. If people had concerns about it and they thought they needed to write it down, then that demonstrates to me that there is a concern about losing material. Okay, so I've asked you the question. Which is relevant based on other parts of the Hadith. So I've asked, you the, I've asked you the question, how many people had memorized the Quran at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and at the time of Uthman? I can't many? tell you how many, I don't know the number. It would have gone into that many hundreds, if not thousands of people. Yeah, and many people died in a battle. Well. How many people died in the battle? I don't know. Some 70 or 80 people died in the battle of the Yamal. 70 or 80 people Hufaz. died? Yeah, they were the Hufaz, the memorizers. Not that everyone. Was a very small battle. Well, not everyone who died in the battle was a Hufaz, was a memorizer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, alright. But there were 70 or 80 who, who died. So, okay, I, right, as right, I right. explained to you, that there was a fear that if this continued, and all of the Hufaz, the memorizers, were killed, we might lose the Qur'an. Now, I ask you the question, did that fear materialize? I don't know, that's a, a question for scholarship. The answer is no. From right. scholarship. From scholarship. So my understanding is that there are certain things that we believe were originally meant to be in the Qur'an that were not actually recorded in the Qur'an. You're, you're, you're raising a different point here now. You're raising well, a completely different point here. This I'm is talking. To do with whether or not uh, listen we have to me. I've explained the to you. Quran. I've explained to you the mechanism yeah. of the oral tradition. Okay, so the oral uh, tradition. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I've also explained to you, evidentially, that if corruption had occurred, the different lineages of the Quran that ended up in different parts of the world, you would reasonably, reasonably see different Qurans being recited today. And in fact, throughout history, you would have battles. This Quran is correct and that Quran is wrong. This Quran is correct and that Quran is wrong. We don't see any of this. What we actually see is what you would expect to see if there was preservation through the oral tradition, which is one unified reading. So as I explained to you, and I, and I challenge you, go onto YouTube, watch an eight-year-old, seven-year-old, who has memorized the Quran, who is leading the prayer. What would they have memorized? How, just as they memorize in Mauritania today, when they don't, can't afford the Mus'haf. So you're telling me that they don't, they don't actually read the Quran and they memorize it? They don't have to. This is the beauty of the Quran. That's, 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 that's why you're so astonished. Yeah, no, 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 it's because it's, it's nonsense, that's why. Why is you, it nonsense? If I, if, I got, if I took a long list of information and I passed it on to a seven-year-old, yes. I'm going to tell you now there's going to be a difference. The way that I they, totally agree the, the with you. The way that you would solve I totally agree with you. you would go back to the source, but you're telling me that you don't do that. You see, you've raised a very important point there. That you don't go back to the source. You've raised a very important point there. If you give lots of information to a seven-year-old and expect that seven-year-old to repeat it exactly how you taught it, it's impossible. Okay. Yet, to, yet today, we have a seven-year-old in Sudan and a seven-year-old in China who are reading the same Quran. And if one makes the mistake of a vowel, he doesn't stretch a letter enough, the other child will correct him, not looking into the Mus'haf. That's, it's not convincing. Through memory, through memory. But it's not convincing. Now, now, now the point here is this. Now the onus is upon you to show me the mechanism okay. of how that happens. Let me know. I'm going to explain to you the problems with all tradition over long periods of time, given that they go from different cultures to different areas where different languages are spoken, and that you will lose information or you will gain information. Has that happened? I believe it has, yeah. Uh, can you the demonstrate? Reason, can okay. you show me that? I can show you in the earliest manuscript. No, no, can you show me? The, no, no, no. So you, you don't no, like no, manuscripts? No, 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 no. Can you show me the evidence? <laughs> of that happening today where you have different Qur'ans being recited the all over the world. does not conform to many of your earliest manuscripts. Can you answer the question? Can you show me evidence? If, 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 you, if, you, if you talked about the biblical text... And I'm we not talking about the biblical text. Yeah, but I'm saying you would never accept it. No, of course. Like, you would never well, accept it. Well, I would it. accept it if they could demonstrate to me... What, an oral tradition? If they could demonstrate... Yes, absolutely. If they could demonstrate to me that we have an oral and you tradition... And you wouldn't say things like, oh, me, no, Chinese whispers. Let me finish, let me finish. 
if they could demonstrate to me that we have an oral tradition, this is the this is the uh, James, uh, this is you know this is the actual Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is their oral tradition, okay? And we have lineages coming out from these scholars, right? Who taught hundreds, thousands, and now millions of people. And guess what? Every recitation of the Bible is letter for letter, word for word correct. You know what I would have to say humbly? That you know what? Maybe I don't accept that this is from God, but I would have to concede that the only rational possibility is that there has to be preservation. That this could not have happened the way you're saying well, Chinese we whispers. Wasn't, we know there wasn't preservation in your written materials, your earliest written your materials. Ignore so we're talking about the written material. Yeah. Okay. So who is saying, according to our written material, the Quran is not preserved? Daniel uh, Brubaker. <laughs> Daniel Brubaker. He's <laughs> a contemporary scholar to uh, Daniel Brubaker is what? Sorry? He's a contem is contemporary Arabic. Um, Quran uh, expert who studies the earliest manuscripts and he has said that they do, they are differences between the earliest manuscripts and the standardized 1924. Uh, Which work of Daniel Brubeck are you referring to? Uh, well, particularly his book. He, he wrote a book that was like a popular. No, no, I, 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 we debunked that book in various ways. This is ways. the brother who debunked so, it, by so, the way. So, so you're talking about <laughs> he was one of the brothers who debunked examples it. or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what does these 20 examples demonstrate? Demonstrate differences between the standardized Hafs Quran and the earliest manuscripts you have. Um, they also demonstrate the existence of poly poly uh, polypsis, which is manuscripts that were written over in parchment or vellum with actual uh, let's new about, words. Let's talk about Daniel Brubaker. So you added new so words. So Daniel Brubaker wrote a book in which he's saying there are corrections in the manuscript traditions. Yep. Did he, let me ask you this question now, because I'm sure you have read his book, you've understood his book, you've understood his methodology, and then you've verified that it's a robust methodology, so conclusions are correct. Mainstream scholar. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. So you've read his book, and the Swedish methodology, so I know the conclusions you are agreeing that is correct. So let me ask you, a particular manuscript, he's saying this, there seems to be a correction happening here about a particular word, right? Yeah. So did he then tell you or tell us that from the other contemporaneous manuscripts from that time period, either earlier at the same time, uh, just a little bit later, from around the globe, other manuscripts. So we are talking about witnesses from other manuscripts, not only one isolated manuscript. Has he done that in his book? And what did he say when he did that? You mean, has he compared multiple manuscripts? The answer is yes, he has compared multiple sure. manuscripts. So he mentions in his book uh, particular ones that are thought of as being, uh, by Muslims anyway, as Uthman copies. Most scholars say they're not Uthman copies. They so let, me, let me give you first, the first example of his 20 know, examples, true. right? So how many other manuscripts has also the same corrections that he compared? Well, the, the corrections are often unique to particular manuscripts, right? Let me, like ask, you, you let me the, ask you again. Uh, when we want to demonstrate to something has been corrupted, yeah. because he says corruption in the manuscript, right? So we should find. Yeah, change so we should assertion. find changes. Or an assertion, or a removal. Do you know his title of his PhD thesis? Uh, no. Intentional changes, something along these lines, right? So basically, he's saying this yeah. kind of corruption. Well, happens. we know that there was right. because we know, for example. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that. When let you me, say let we me know, what I'm talking about. when you say we know, have you read let his me, thesis? Let me, just, let me just explain what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, have you read his thesis? No, I've read his book. Let me explain what I'm talking about. He has noted in many earliest manuscripts, which are thought of as being um, copies of Uthman in the Islamic tradition, have the word he replaced over with the word Allah in many places. So a scribe at some point has decided that that look, was look, incorrect. As I said, I have not only read his book, okay. we have responded to his book. Okay. And it's a book that is available in academia free of charge, of course, over 300 pages. Okay, but he so hasn't actually can made I finish any opinion. My point? Can I sure. make a point? Sure. Right. Because you're bringing him as a scholar who has an opinion on this issue about preservation. Yeah, he is an expert okay. in the field. Right. According to who? According to academia, according to Yasser Kardik, according no, 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 no. to all according, of the other no, 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 no. Quranic experts, he is an expert no, 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 no. in the field. He's an expert in what? In Quranic studies, in the original Aramaic language for other manuscripts. Original Aramaic language. Anyway, okay, besides the point. The one besides the, the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Expert in Aramaic okay. language. I'm sure you will you, reflect on it. Isn't? No, no, I'm sure you'll reflect on it much later. Let's come back to this point. So the example he brings, for example, he says this particular manuscript, say this is manuscript in top copy, right? Top manuscript, it has a particular corrections there. So 
according to what you've read, because you've read this book, yeah. he has compared with the other manuscripts from the same time period. We are talking about producing what we call a stematics, stemma. So he has looked at manuscripts from same region or different regions from the same time, maybe about 8th century, 7th century, whichever manuscript Tafkafi is from, right? I'm not going to help you with the dates now. So either he brought manuscripts from before or after or contemporary time. And then he said, look, we have the same correction happening in all the other manuscripts, right? Um, no, I don't think it happens in all of them, you say, mate. No, I'm just I'm giving you that... example number one, okay. and then I'm continuing with example number two, three, four, up to twenty. So has he done that with every example, and he demonstrated that right here, yeah? He is doing it with manuscripts as he is studying them, and he's taking note of them. For example, in his written work, twenty examples, you he only picked twenty. my question. Okay, so. In his PhD thesis, he had about 800 or so examples. Okay, sure. You haven't read it? No, no I haven't read it. I haven't said that. The book, book. the book says 20 examples, yes, that's but it has more than 20 anyway, even yeah, if it says 20. Yeah, yeah. So within these 20 examples, yeah. obviously as a good scholar, he would say, look, this is a manuscript and we have compared with other manuscripts around the same time period and we have found their corrections on those as well, because that's when people are corrupting it, isn't it? Right, yeah. Wrong. You haven't read his book because he doesn't compare with other manuscripts. No, no, I'm just talking his... with what you would do. You described the methodology. I agree with that. But that's, so I he hasn't done you. that. Yes, that's not so, the intention of his book. Wait, 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 wait. What is he trying to show you? He's trying to show you that there are differences between certain manuscripts and the standardized half okay, Can I just say one thing here? Yeah. The brother raised the point mm. about methodology. Yeah. You agreed that that would be the yes. better methodology. Hold on a second. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, please, hold on okay, a second. Okay. You agreed that that would be the correct methodology. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That would be the fair, just methodology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't do that. Has he done yes. that in his PhD thesis? But he doesn't he, do that. He's, going, he's doing this. No, 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 no. Oh. But the point is... He oh, yeah. Well, how long does it take to go no, 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 no. The point is that he hasn't done that. I guess... Uh, uh, no, 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 hold on a second. Yep. The point is that he's not done that. Yes. And now hold on. I haven't finished my friend, yet. My friend, I already agree with no, no, what you're right. saying. I want to talk so about there, what so he therefore, is saying. So therefore, when somebody doesn't do something that they are supposed to do to, to ensure that there is trust within a methodology, what should one conceivably do? My friend, you, you need to understand. One should put it aside. But all, not only this, and not, not, only this. not trust so, it. Just to, just to right. bring you in the reality scene here, because you're so, somehow divorced from reality. In what happens why, 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 why we say that? Let me why explain. Let me explain. So in our response to his book, we have shown seven, eight, nine, ten other manuscripts from around the same time frame. Rough, right? Sure. Sometimes yeah. early, sometimes contemporaneous, sometimes a bit later, because we are talking about establishing a stem. <clears throat> and we have shown, let's say, eight other manuscripts has exactly the same word like we have on our Quran today. Right. Let me finish my point. I agree. Let me finish my point. Though. I'm agreeing with you. With every example, if we can demonstrate that, that we have more than one manuscript from any manuscript that he brings. With the so-called corrections, we have many other manuscripts. Early. That's, that's like the Christian position. Let me finish my point. Not Sorry. at all. Not just at to all. show you, just to show you how insignificant his work is. The word is insignificant. So if we find for every example he brings, I bring you other seven more examples of manuscripts, which is exactly the same reading as our manuscripts or other Quranic text today. It tells you and I and my brother here that the Quranic text that we read today is in line with our manuscript tradition, exactly preserved. So that means how do we then explain those corrections? We go by looking at this particular example. Has this correction been made by, described by a mistake? A lapse of memory in writing. So you can see, for example, he writes at the end of a line and it comes to an alif. And then when it comes again to the next line, it repeats that alif again. Now, that is something he realized he didn't do. So, this is a mistake that you find common in all manuscript traditions, including biblical manuscripts. Yes, right. absolutely. Right. So, these corrections do not point to Qur'ans not being preserved, 
When we have other manuscripts with the same text of the Quran today, that points to Quranic preservation of our text. Do you agree? No. Because your view of preservation, you your, ver your version of preservation is not the same as the Christian version. We're not talking about Christian preservation. I I'm know, talking about my textual that's what I'm preservation. What you, what you described is basically a really good Christian not argument. Not at all. Not but at all. it does not apply to the Quran whatsoever. Not, not at, at all. all. They said that um, the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Well, we know that's not true. We can we can go to the earliest manuscripts and see variants in it. Like what? The ones that Brand Daniel Brubaker has Which one? Give an example. Okay, so in one of the, um, the manuscripts, I can't remember which one, uh, I can find out if we need to, but there was um, repeated attempts to change the word he in many verses to the word Allah. It was written over in many of these manuscripts. You know what? You should rather, instead of relying on this particular one individual, why don't but you... But that's a contemporary why? of scholarship. He is in the same bracket as Yasser Qadi. No, no, no. Who said that? Bro, they work together. They, they don't together. work together. They write together. They don't write together. They are contemporaries. They, they don't work they together. They, they don't work. write together. Yasser Qadi is not a Quranic scholar. Neither what? is Daniel Brubaker. Daniel Brubaker did his PhD thesis he literally, on... He literally, that's his listen, job. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Daniel Brubaker done a PhD. Yes. And that makes he him a scholar? He works for a university. That makes him a scholar? Okay, hold yeah. on. Okay, okay, hold on a second. What? Uh, uh, he's got, his okay. name's Doctor. Okay. Oh, oh, he's a oh doctor. Okay. So you're saying so, doctors aren't scholars? So, so that makes him an expert? Yes. So I, so I, gave, you, I gave him the comment. By do, you, do you know about Dr. Tayyar Altikulaj? No. Or, or Angela Newis, as I mentioned. Do you know about... Oh, you're right. Deroche? No. Angela Newis? If you Germany. don't know about Deroche... Okay and you think he's a scholar of the Quran, then you must be someone who is an evangelical Christianity. Is that right? All I know is that Daniel That's what Drew they Baker, do. Daniel Drew Baker is can someone he speak, Can he speak Arabic? Can he? Can Daniel uh, Drew yes, speak Arabic? to some degree. I've heard him say Arabic things, yeah. If you, if you look he reads at, it anyway. If you look so. at my Twitter exchange with him, now you realize I've exchanged with him, your so-called scholar. He makes so many basic mistakes in simple Arabic grammar that a child won't do, which I highlighted to him in his PhD thesis. Okay, people make mistakes. And in his book. Yeah, people make mistakes. I don't, no, that's not a do reputation. You of do you understand arguing. what I just said? That's saying he made a mistake. He somewhere. doesn't even know basic Arabic language, and yet yes, he's. He, he does because he translates. No, he doesn't. Do you know what I just said? So you're I said, me, he, I can, said, he can work I, with Yasser Qadi. No, he doesn't work with Yasser Qadi. They write, let, he, he's done videos where he literally takes an email from Yasser Qadi. Uh, no, no. Yasser what, Qadi that, peer what, reviewed that, his that, work. That, that, which, which work did he do in collaboration with Yasser Qadi? Not in collaboration. I'm saying they both work at universities, yes. That makes them working together. I think what you're no, no, I think, they're peers. I, I, I think, I think, they I think, peer I, review I, each I other. Think, I think what you're quoting is completely wrong. I'll tell you why. Okay, which part? Yasser Qadi made a video against Brubaker. Yes. Yes. He, hold, on a hold, on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Brubaker responded yes. by some of the comments that Yasser Qadi had made against him. Yes. And that, the email uh, he sent uh, to Hold him. on a second. Yes. That's not called working I'll together. Brilliant. I, I, I What's the word? Yes. That's not called working together. No, no in scholarship, there's a principle called, that when you not, write something look, like a PhD, you have to have it evaluated by other scholars. Yasser Qadi was not a peer reviewer So he's not. Yasser Qadi has never read his in of fact, he's read his work. In fact, you know he's read his in work. fact who, who were the supervisors of Dr. Brewerker's work in his PhD thesis? Uh, I don't know, but they would have you been You should find scholars. out. You should find out. There are other scholars hang on, hang who on. he quotes. And how? Look, when you do your PhD thesis, this is something that you need to really understand. Basic when stuff. When you do your research, <laughs> well, basic, when you do your research, yeah. you do a research under a particular supervision of other scholars, right? That's your right. PhD supervisors. Who was his PhD supervisors? How much role and involvement did they have? He did it under Rice University. Okay. So, uh, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I really ask you go and read his PhD thesis, read about the proficiency and expertise of his supervisors and how much they were involved in his work. Right? That's his PhD thesis. So why is he making simple grammatical mistakes? Like, for example, you'd say, in the law, you're not going to say in Allahu. Even a child, child who's just beginning to speak Arabic, they're not going to say in Allahu. Do you know why? Because after what comes after the word inna, this particle inna, it has to come from this form called mansu. In Allaha and the signing of Atha and so on. A scholar 
an expert would not make such a mistake and which he does and it has been pointed to. People make mistakes? No, no. People don't make mistakes people in simple mistakes. Arabic grammar. It's just too much. Well, he's not, that's not his native language, right? He had to learn. So if he doesn't know simple Arabic language, how is he going to be able to read what it says yeah, in a very old Arabic script? Mate, I'm English the language and I he make doesn't mistakes know when I write himself. English. Let me explain something to you. you understand something? The language just, he doesn't know. So how is he going to read he what it says? He does know it because he translates it. Let, let me explain. Just explain one moment, brother. Yeah. 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 For example, he talked about a particular example of how, you know, this particular word is written. I actually made a response in a video response about the issues of Hamza and how it sits in the Kursi order, okay? Something very basic. Like I told you, if you want to the Please watch that on Dawawai's channel. Yeah? Dawawai's this channel. And you will see that a scholar of this caliber who's making simple mistakes like this, of course is going to make a mistake in reading manuscripts. Sure. Then his, his reading, his interpretation, is it going to be faulty or is it going to be robust? Well, if he doesn't know how to read. Well, no, he doesn't know how to read it. He makes mistakes. I'll go in that. No, no, no. Okay, but if he doesn't know how to read, can I just address that point? I'm sure he can read. Okay. Okay. Can I just address that yeah, point? He can read. Yeah. If your child is is at school and is being taught by an English teacher, yeah. and you decide to sit in, yeah. and she makes basic errors, basic errors of grammar and spelling, would you trust that? Hold on a second. Would you trust that teacher to teach your child? Okay, it depends on why they're doing it. If they're making errors because they're having a bad day, sure, they're having a bad day. Yes. But if they literally don't know, yes. then that's a problem. So that's a problem, I right? I do believe he does would know you trust, because it's his Would job you trust that teacher to teach your and child? And he's Would you trust that teacher? If they're having a bad day, I won't have a problem no, with that. No, having a bad day, yeah. they repeatedly that's make right, the same that's mistakes. That's right, repeatedly. But as he said, oh, that was a mistake, and is he corrects himself? No, he repeatedly makes the same mistakes. So I'm asking you the question okay, again. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Would you trust that teacher? Can I just ask? No, 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 would you trust that teacher? I've already gave my answer. If, if, if they're having a bad day, that's fine. But what if they actually don't know English, yes. then yeah. Then yes, you have a problem. Right now, hold on a second. Right now, okay. So when Brother Mansoor is pointing out he doesn't know Arabic, basic, basic, when Brother Mansoor is pointing out basic errors in grammar in the Arabic language, a language which is necessary for you to be able to be a critical scholar within that so language, the fact that he's and you find no problem. Scholar, Listen to me. Do you not think? Do you understand how peer review? Works. Yes. You how, does it, how does it work? In universities, when you write a thesis, yes. you have yes. it reviewed by your okay. yes. 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 Right. who are also Do you know, how, do you know how that works? Yes. I'll, I'll explain to you how that works because I don't think you do. Okay. Well, go on then. If I go to a Christian university, sure. right? I don't think he is. If I go to a Christian university or a supervisor themselves are uh, evangelical Christians, they're more likely to review things that I'm saying in, let's say, a more sympathetic way than somebody else might do, for example. Now, I quoted you a sc scholar, one of the most foremost experts in Quranic uh, text, Professor Angela Neweth. Angelica Neweth. Angela Neweth, right? She says, these are her words, that the arguments of preservation are finished, they're See, done. I like that, I agree. Yes, but the, <laughs> but the reasons she gives are that the number of manuscripts that we are now uncovering far from contradicting preservation are only reinforcing and confirming it you see I... now my argument to you is this if you can now point to me where her methodology as brother Mansour has very succinctly uh, demonstrated that her methodology is completely wrong that within scholarship she's been highly criticized then you have a point I don't agree his methodology is wrong because he's not trying to do what you're talking about and I agree that's a good thing to do. So right? what's, what's he trying to achieve? All he's trying to do is to take the standardized half yes, yes. with the manuscript. Okay. That's all he's doing. How would you do that? You take the uh, manuscript, yes. whichever that top cost yes. or whatever that might yes. be, yes. and you say, at this point here, it's, a, it's, a, it's it had something inserted over the top of it. Right. That's what you do. Now, as a scholar, yeah. how would you rule out a scribal error? Very good question. No, I think I think he's saying, he actually gives in his book, he says, uh, reasons for this could be uh, scribal error. I didn't ask you that question. Be... I asked you, what would the methodology be? To demonstrate that this was actually just a scribal error, what was what would you what would you have to do? Because to he doesn't do that. He mentions it. What would you have to do? Can I just ask? Um, what, what is your issue with his? No, work? no, no, no. Like, Can you answer my no, question? I to ask no, him no, this no, 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 no. I asked you. Do. Uh, I've, listened, I've listened to you for no, a long time. I've asked now. you a question though. You can answer my question first. What is the methodology? Can I just ask him a question. What is the methodology okay. that you would have to, uh, to 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 execute in order? 
to find out whether this was just a scribal error, what would you have to do? To find out whether something is a scribal error, you would have to look at the uh, text itself and see whether or not there is any likely alternatives to the one that has been no. substituted. No. No? No. You wouldn't do that? No. Okay, if okay. a scribe makes uh, an error right. and there are multiple copies of something before, during and after, what would you do to find out whether actually right, this so was you're talking about what um, you were saying earlier, about how you would look at other manuscripts and see which is the dominant text. That's logical, right? Right, yeah, absolutely. Is that rational? But, yes, but... Is what, that fair? Yes, it is. Does yes. he do that? No. no. So then, he so hasn't the, chosen to do that yet. So there you go. He's only doing one thing, which so is saying, look, guys, you made your, there you are made manuscripts... Argument. You've, you've completed the... Absolutely. There are manuscripts which do not conform to Haft's Quran. That's all he's saying. You just said to me, yeah. it would be fair... Correct, yes. it, correct methodology, it would be the right thing to do, yes. and then you've admitted to me and he hasn't done that. Yes. So khalas, the matter is, it's finished then. So you're bringing you're, you're, him you're complaining to the discussion, he hasn't done something. He never tried no, to, do. to bring the discussion to yeah. somehow doubt question, the yeah. preservation exactly. of the Quran is exactly. fruitless. Exactly. It's something that doesn't help the discussion. So he is not a witness for Quran not being preserved. In fact, he's a witness against it. Exactly. In fact, he's a proof that the Quran has been preserved. Exactly. He should have done this robust methodology and comparison. He doesn't do that for a simple reason. He knows it's been done because the sources that he goes to, he knows already it's available online and there are other manuscripts that you can compare. Like I've demonstrated, we have demonstrated, me and Brother Farid. That was the video, so Farid, Farid you and Ijaz. Yeah, but we have an academia yeah. uh, paper on yeah. this, on this in, in, in significant correction of manuscripts. Um, we will put that on the description of the videos. In the and channel, the Dawah wise, and the Dawah wise. And Dawah wise and elsewhere, where you can read that paper and you can see how this methodology is only coming from an evangelical standpoint. He's an evangelist. He's not bringing his scholarship onto the scene, but he's bringing his ideological stance and saying there seems to be some kind of ideological move of corrupting the Quranic text when he doesn't do what it's supposed to be done. But he doesn't make any opinions on what he he's does. looking at. You he haven't doesn't. read his book. I have. I have you know, the, you, know, you know the worrying thing I here. I have it with you, me. You know, you know I read it. Okay, bring this book out. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know the, the, the worrying thing here for me is that you have an, a supposed academic who is deliberately misguiding people about the, 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 the truthfulness or the correctness of something. This is actually tantamount to, uh, I would say, you know, uh, really just uh, uh, su supplying uh, lies and deception to convince the people of what he believes. It doesn't, it doesn't make conclusions for him. He's, he's actually, all he says is like, okay. What does he conclude? He doesn't, all he says is... Um, Can we read? Sure. Well, obviously it's a book and you've you got to be careful about like, where... Uh, it's probably... Conclusions. The Quran has been and continues to be consequential. Do you remember where he mentions the, any claims of conclusion in his conclusion? Okay. I'm just reading his conclusion here. In many parts of the world, it is a source of regional, cultural, and spiritual pride, and explicitly intertwined with every part of life. It is also an object of history related to one of the most dramatic and enduring movements of political conquest and colonization of the history in the world. It claims internally to be revelation from God and is claimed by Muhammad himself. Furthermore, I, mean, I can keep reading it, but it's very neutral. Like, all he does is he takes oh, manuscript no, no, no. points. Can I, can I show you something? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You carry on speaking, okay. and I'm going to show you whether you think it's conclusion. Can I tell you why it's not neutral? Can I tell you why it's not neutral? Okay. Have you read this? Can I, no, no. Can I tell you why it's not neutral? Okay. I'll tell you why it's not neutral. Because you're using Brubaker's arguments to yeah. demonstrate yeah. that there are multiple readings of corruption of the Quran. Okay? Yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. To be able to demonstrate that fairly, you have to have a robust methodology of how you arrived at that conclusion. You've admitted that he hasn't done that. No, I've said he's pointed out. Hold on a second. On the original. See, I keep repeating so myself. You've admitted you that he hasn't done that. That to the reader is suggestive that there is corruption and manipulation of the Quran. No, he isn't saying. Even if he doesn't necessarily say it, he isn't saying. That is what he's no, suggesting. He's implying it. Yeah. He's implying that. Guys, have Absolutely. you read the book? <laughs> Have you actually read the book? I, know I have you responded have. to the just, book. Okay, so no. does it, where is his conclusion? Does he say? Let's read. You have read his book, right? Yes. And his conclusion? Yes. Okay. I found tell, it really. Like, tell like me what it means by this. Like all he's saying is. That, yeah. What does this existence of these corrections mean? Okay. Yeah. These corrections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is an open-ended question and many okay. possible answers. Ah, that sounds really Here are advice. here are a few of my thoughts. Here are a few of his thoughts. Okay, let's listen. So, is he giving some of his thoughts? Yes, he gives some. Right. Okay, let's listen. So he's saying first, although it seems to have been reasonably demonstrated by, by now that 
with the exception of the lower layer of the Sana Palimpsest, most surviving Quranic manuscripts bear the signs of having been produced following a campaign of standardization, okay. holistically consistent with that reported to have been directed by the third Khalif. It is also clear that there existed some differences okay, sure. of perception about the current, sorry, correct words of the Quranic text at the times most of these manuscripts were produced, okay. which were later revisited when these perceptions changed or standardization became more thorough. It is not impossible that some of these varying perceptions would have been tied to certain geographical region or location. This perceived flexibility exceeds the bounds of what is reported in the Quranic literature. No, he's saying there is a flexibility yes. of changes within the Quranic text yeah. because he can't find them in the Kirat literature. Do you know why it's not in the Quranic li in the Kirat literature? Because they are not part of the Kirat, they are simple mistakes. So why would someone have them in the Kirat literature when someone is making simple scribal mistakes? But he's saying because of those mistakes, there seems to be some kind of flexibility. flexibility. No, the reason they're, why is they're, because the palace um, says, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. He's saying there seems to be a perceived flexibility going on. Not only that, it looks. Yeah. These differences of perception were not confined to the earliest decades after Prophet Muhammad's death, but there was some flexibility extending for several centuries after. So that sounds yeah. like corruption so now he's to me. making a claim. There seems yeah, to be. He didn't say listen, the Quran is corrupt. Listen, listen, he was just saying, hey, listen, on the text, you read this. He's saying, if it quacks like a duck, the Quran has to dude, quacks like a duck. Dude, it's you, a you tell me that's not, yeah? that's not listen, a, a fair listen, interpretation. Listen to me. He is saying, there seems to be flexibility during the time of the Prophet as well as later. Based on what? Yeah. One or two manuscripts yeah. within that region which has a I correction. Think I think it's seven, I think he goes through this no. one. Well, it's not just one or two, is it? A it's particular example he brings. Yeah. It yeah. says, because that manuscript has a particular correction, it seems to be the text was so fluid, so flexible, it persisted yeah. until... But the but, reason but, why... But, wait, wait. On, let's describe a, why that was. A, a scholar. Okay, yeah of a scholarly academic caliber yeah. would say, actually, is this what is what I've observed? Have I observed other manuscripts which also shows the same kind of pattern of flexibility? Because if we say something is flexible, we would expect what? Many other manuscripts to talk about the same word in this way, the corrected form, and to continue, not to be one manuscript. And it's I don't dead think and that's buried. what he means by flexible. What, what he would mean, what my interpretation of that was, is that he means that because it's a polypsest, it's been written over. It's not it, a polypsest. No, no. He, he, some of them are. Like no, for example, no, 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 no. Which of these manuscripts, which thinks these are polypsest? Um, Most the, of them the, are not polypsest. The one where he talks about the, um, the eight hundred or so examples in his PhD thesis that he talked about. Mm -hmm. They're not palimpsests. Okay, I'm talking about this so, book, though. Not even this book. Yeah, there is one, this book. The, the one where he talks about, I think it was like eight occasions where the word he is replaced by the word Allah. It's, it's written out and replaced by Allah after. And I think that's what he means by flexibility. So those of you who haven't got a clue what we're talking about, read our response on this book, available on our Christian, page, you're a, you're a Christian, and, then, right? and then you'll see how... Okay. And then you'll see how this whole work is such an insignificant work in any textual study. You're a Christian, right? right? Any yes. textual study. Yeah, okay. Not only this, by the yeah. way, I, I have to give credit, Dr. Tayyar al Tikulaj, also, he's one of the world's foremost Quranic scholar, and you haven't even heard his name. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm not going to claim to If, if like any to scholar who says, I'm a scholar in the Quran, and who has not heard and read about the works of Dr. Tayyar al Tikulaj, in fact, in fact, in fact, he himself uses Dr. Tayyar yeah, al works. Does, yeah. Right. So he's written a book as well, responding to this. Cool. And has Dr. Daniel Brubaker responded to him yet? No. Yeah, but, he says, I'm going to respond maybe in a book writing or something yeah, but, like but, that. But what would he disagree with? Because his conclusion is it's very vague, like it's very bland. Can I, can I like ask you? Said, can, okay, can I, can I'll I, show you some more claims he's made in the beginning. Sure. Of course, you haven't read. In fact, in our book, in, in our response, there's no point even giving you a uh, spoon feeding you. It's all there in our book showing you where he makes those uh, ideological claims about these books, about the Quranic preservation and so on. All he says is that in some manuscripts it shows that there, there was a flexibility right. in the idea right. of Can what, I just ask you whether a you could say he you, you or said, Allah, for you, said, you said you're yeah. Christian, right? Yes. Yeah. If I was to go to the book of Matthew, yeah. yes, and I read a verse, and I found an error in there, yes? 
and I made a book. And I said, oh, look, I found these errors in the Bible. There's flexibility. The text was adopting. It was changing, da, 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 right? And then you turned around and said to me, but we have very early manuscripts, yeah, yeah. actually, that, do, that right? have that word in there. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Multiple. In hold so, on a sec no, 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 no. Hold on a second. I'm getting there. Relax. You say I have multiple manuscripts that actually have that word in there. I have multiple manuscripts from that time that have that word in there. I have multiple manuscripts that come after that time that have that word in there. I have an oral tradition where this is being recited and it's still being recited today. Would it be fair for me then to say that that was an error? So this is what Christians will do with our scriptures. So New Testament scholarship for the last 200 years, we look at the earliest manuscripts in Greek for the New Testament, and then we look at to specifically understand what parts of it we can know have been inserted. Uh, 1 John 5-7 uh, might be an example, but the longer ending of Mark might be another one. And then we can make our conclusions based off this. And this is how we have validity Did in I ask scripture. you that question? Uh, yeah, but you're talking about, like, if you look at this... Did I ask you that question? What was the question I asked you? You said if you looked at the oral tradition and you looked at the earliest manuscripts and you saw the variants of them... I didn't say can that. You... No, I didn't say that. You're not even listening to what I'm saying. Okay, what did you say? I said if I found an error in a, 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 a verse in Matthew... Okay, that's exactly what I was referring to. Hold on a second. Right. And then I thought there were multiple manuscripts that actually had yes. the correct word in. That's exactly what And during that time, yeah. and after. Yeah. And you had an oral tradition that you could demonstrate okay. where that word is still being recited today. Okay. Would it be fair... Would it be fair? For me to say that, look, that word that I found that was wrong actually should demonstrate okay. that there was a flexibility, there was an error. Okay. Would it be fair for me to say that? As I was getting to. Yes or no? Come on. Come on. Is it if fair? I speak, you, Would, you it shut fair? Me down. Would it be fair? What I'm saying is this: our understanding of scriptures is different from the Islamic. Would it be fair for me the, to say that? Um, in Islamic scripture, would you it say be that fair that for me to my, say my that? Friend, can I answer the way I You're want to answer? You're not answering it. I'm trying to. No, but but I, no, because you're frustrating me. Because I'm asking you a question, you're not bothering to answer it. Would it Let be fair? Answer. Would it be fair for me to say that there clearly shows uh, errors and manipulation and fabrication in the text? Would it be fair? What it would be fair to say is that in the early Islamic manuscripts, there are variants that do not conform with the standardized Hafs Quran today. Would it be fair? That's all me, I'm saying. Would it be That's fair? All I have ever said would it be fair for me to say that this is an error in the Bible? Would it be fair? No, and I'm not saying. No, it, I'm not saying it wouldn't be fair. So you said no, it wouldn't be fair, right? Uh, wait, uh, yes, in the sense of you can inf you can use that methodology to know what parts of the Bible are valid and not valid. Yes, so it would be say. fair for me to say that the Bible has been corrupted because I found this one Loaded text. Words, but yeah. I found this one text mm. that disagrees. It would be fair for me to say the Bible is corrupt. Yes. Not in the sense of a full corruption. We believe that there's a distinction between the text and the message. Would it be fair for me to say that that's corrupt, even though there are manuscripts? What do you mean by corrupt? Oh, do I have to explain words well, to no, you now? Well, because there's an emotional loaded term of that word, and uh, there's a there's a variant somewhere. Words. Okay, so let, me what do you mean? let me explain it to you again. Okay. I find an error, a different word. Okay, right, so you're talking about a variant. You as a Christian, oh, yeah. say to me, but I have multiple manuscripts before. Yes. So I can derive what was likely the... Multiple during that time, uh, yeah. multiple after, and I have an oral tradition that confirms the correct word. Would it be fair under those circumstances for me to still claim that it's a corruption? You see how he's struggling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of a variant, You see yes. how he's struggling? No, no, it's because, because, I'm what because it would be inherently unfair. No, no, yeah. you have a different standard. It would be of the inherently text that unjust. Have their Bible. It would be unjust and unfair for I me to claim that. that. that you know Bible why you're not answering the question? I don't say that. You're not answering the question because did. you're doing exactly the same thing to the Quran. Just, just to now give some yeah. material evidence to oh. the book. Look, this is example one. Example one, so-called correction, like, look, in response, we're going to manuscripts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, that's example two, twelve or thirty manuscripts, which doesn't have these so-called corrections, exactly the same as a manuscript. Example number two, in response, from other manuscripts, from manuscript 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 sufficient. Example number 3. 
Three has many examples. Three, one. That's his circle corrections. And in our response, what do we find about other manuscripts from around that time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Is that what you get? Example number three, two. For every example, this is about 300 pages of work, right? 300 pages of manuscripts work, showing you exactly how the so-called corrections are only within that manuscript, but we have other sure. manuscripts from that That you can draw the actual meaning from. Yeah. Right. So that means then all your thesis about whatever you want to bring, flexibility, corruption, but goes under was, the bus. Because scribes thought they could change from look, the manuscripts, look, look. right? What this demonstrates, yeah. the Quranic tradition, the Quranic textual tradition, yeah. is, that is so rigid. Right, because you have other manuscripts, Wait, right? wait, let me finish my point. Okay. Quranic textual tradition is so rigid, right. not flexible, that whatever we read today, we can go back centuries, even those centuries around these manuscripts that he's using, to show it's exactly the same that is in our current Mus'haf. Right. Demonstrating Quranic Rigid preservation. When I say rigid, it's exactly how it is. Not flexible, or oh, they had a different Quran. Right. Same. So so now, do you now understand? This yeah, yeah. book is insignificant. But it didn't talk about that. No, what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter if you have 20 examples or a yes, million examples. He's just saying. Listen, listen, to my point. It doesn't matter if you bring Daniel Brubaker or, or whoever. As long as the material evidence is on our side, which is which is then the claim of Quranic preservation is something that you have to accept unwillingly or so willingly. what I would say is that that to me is basically the standard New Testament critical approach for how Christians do with their that's Bible. That's absolutely nonsense. Is our Quran about? preserved in the textual tradition? Yeah. That's, like, that's how I explained uh, to him. <laughs> to the... Well, not in the Cairo because these differ from the Cairo version. It's mostly the same. Like it's you see, standards. all these buzzwords, Cairo edition, Cairo... When well, that's, was that's, a, that's a main Quran used on. today, when 95% of the world is Quran. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. I have a Quran right. which is of the Hafs reading before 1924. Be before 1924, okay. Oh, wait, so, really? so oh. was the Quran standardized in 1924, the Hafs Quran? No, no, there were different. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got to read Maghrib actually. No, no, no. In 1924, what happened? They, the stand, they standardized the Quran and they, no, no, got, yeah. got they threw away the We're going to finish now. Uh, no, 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 they didn't throw away them. Again, you, you are regurgitating or like vomiting out this. Just, uh, yeah, let me finish. Uh, let me finish. This is just what I think. Let yeah. me finish. Uh, I'm going to be. If it's a spade, I will say it's a spade. If it's a duck, I will say it's a duck. So I am saying you are regurgitating or vomiting out. Or saying, yeah. Not say saying. This polemical nonsense and rubbish. <laughs> it's all that I'm is saying been, a lie. Can I finish my point though? No, because you're just right. insulting me. I'm not I'm insulting. Fine. You just because said I'm I am saying, I am, I am saying, look. This information about the Quran in 1924, when they were standardizing it, the rest of them they threw in the Nile. Do you know where they got this from? Okay, so this isn't true. Hang on. Do you know where they got this from? I don't know. Right, let I've me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Okay, just don't, don't say like, I'm okay. regurgitating these lies. Did just you say, not say yeah. they, they got rid of all the others? Um, did you not I just heard say? That they, I heard they put the non-standardized versions What in did the they do? Is that true? In, no. Is so it no? Wait, 1924? So in 1924? I've heard about it, but is Good. it true? I don't so know. let me tell Let's you now. So you've heard about it. Did you examine it? Did you critically examine the truthfulness of the story? I did. Okay, so what's the I answer? I went to the sources. What's did the answer? I? One moment. Did you do that? No, I haven't. Good. My so friend, you haven't. I'm still so, learning. Good. So okay, in your so learning, let, let, me, let me give you something, an advice, a, okay. a friendly advice. When you're going to learn about someone else's scripture, mm. don't take it from these, from Dick and Harry here preaching and saying, Quran is not preserved, the 36 Quran, whatever, because they will mislead you to hell. Yeah? Go to the scholarship. I'll listen to everyone. I'll listen to you. I'll listen yeah, to any no, Muslim. Go to scholarship, yeah. mm. scholars, experts in the field, and see yeah. what they have to say. Well, so I went to, I went to Gabriel, Professor Said Gabriel Reynolds, because they're quoting him. Because it's coming from his book. He says, look, where did you get this from? He said, ah, from this German scholar. But where did he say? What did he say? So basically, someone just trying to get quote from a quote from a quote. Eventually, it turns out that this is just a story from someone who's saying without any substance. Because in 1924, they weren't standardizing the Quran. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Okay, so the half Quran, is... the half reading of the text was already in print in Iran, in India, elsewhere, India. in India, and so I have a PDF copy of a manuscript. Yeah, you know, well, obviously... you know, from from about what, me, 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 middle ages, 14th, 15th okay, century. Can I, speak? Have, I get what you're no, saying. No, 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 no. Let's see, you you know, don't. Speak. You will speak, but I want to okay. make this okay, point though. Let's be quick though. Yeah? There is this false being pushed by some idiotic thinking people from Speaker's Corner. Why I'm saying idiotic? Why, why, why do you have to insult people? Don't insult people. I'll tell you why it's idiotic. You know what okay. idiotic means? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah? stupid. Yeah, stupid. When you find the evidence, it's not this. And they're pushing forward a narrative. You know what? The Bible says God is 5 in 20. And they keep pushing forward. That's an idiotic claim, which has no substance. So anyone who does that, Quran, uh, Bible has a God concept, is 5 in 20. 5 in 20. And they, every Christian believes in that. What is 5 in 20? You, you, you know, you, you, do you realize what that makes you when you bring that same thing? You know, you know what the 1924 argument is so ludicrous? I, it's not even an argument. Let, I don't, let me, I've never let, even let, thought let, of it let, as let, an let, argument. Let me, explain, let me explain that to you. Okay. My father was born in 1931. Okay? My father's brother, Mashallah, is Hafaz, memorizer of the Quran. I have many in my family, Alhamdulillah. Right? So my grandfather would have pre pre presumably memorized and read a different Quran. My grandfather read, Mashallah, may Allah give him Jannah, paradise, in front of my own eyes. He would finish eight or ten chapters of the 30 uh, 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 segments of the Quran, not the chapters, sorry. Jews. He, Jews. he would read 10 Jews almost every day. From morning till night, my, my grandfather would be reading the Quran. What that tells you is that my grandfather in his own lifetime would have been reading a different Quran and then he would have been reading a different one when the, when the Egyptian Cairo edition in 1924 came about. And guess what? Not only him, but millions and millions, tens, hundreds of millions of, of Muslims were also doing that. And guess what? There's no evidence whatsoever that we find that the Muslims complained that this 1924 edition doesn't, doesn't, is not the same one that I memorized. Well, there was obviously a reason as to why Not, not a single right? person, not a so single person. Been, now, there would have been disagreements about which is the correct brother, version Brother, brother, yeah, of course not. Brother, brother, so brother, you brother, haven't got not. a clue what Subhanallah. they're doing in 1924. Okay, tell me the answer then. Now, why am I going to spe spoon feed you with information when you haven't got a clue and yet you come with a rhetoric? In 1924, the Quran That's was what I've heard. Tell me if it's From wrong. who? I don't know, uh, went on the uh, internet, um, whatever. Actually, I think this book probably refers to it. Yeah, exactly. So pseudo scholar then. <laughs> what happened in 1924? Hang on. What happened in 1924? According to him. Pseudo scholar, clearly. According what to you pseudo scholar. He works at Someone an established who, university. Um, He's referenced so, by other so, scholars. So if I now do a, if I now do a PhD yes, in Quranic in manuscripts, yes, and I start teaching and writing books, I become the expert. Quranic you become an expert. Yes. No, but you've really? already agreed that his methodology was so wrong. So if you study it and you look, no, but you already agreed that his methodology was wrong. No, the methodology you mentioned is a correct one, it's a good one. I'm saying he hasn't done that. Did he adopt that? He hasn't done it yet. So he used the wrong methodology. No, it's not that he's like using the wrong one. He's only, he's did, literally, he's, did, he actually says in the book, he the right, going Did this. he use the right methodology oh, to find no, out? he's not saying did that he, you can't derive did, what the correct meaning is. Did he, he, did he use the right methodology? In his PhD thesis. Let's in, go back in, to in his, his actual in, PhD, in his PhD thesis. In his PhD thesis, yeah. did, he use the right did he use the right methodology to uncover whether there were variations or fluid, uh, uh, what uh, he uh, means fluid texts? There were manuscripts which scribes uh, wrote one thing and then they later wrote a different Did thing. Did he use the correct That's methodology? Later? One moment, brother. Yeah. Later? I don't know how like, later it was. I don't know if he... Have you read these books? Have you read every single example of his books? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does he talk about there are examples where there are correction by the same scribe? Yes, I think so. You think so? Yes, definitely so. So what do you have to say about that? Well, is the scribe somehow now writing a different Quran because he had one Quran and he's writing a different Quran? Well, yeah, obviously. Why, what changed his mind? Well, probably, um, we don't know. That's, that's a question that's up for debate, right? He doesn't. He doesn't, all he says is, it's, "This is where it's the term flexibility of comes in." Yeah, because we don't so know. So, if a scribe is copying a particular manuscript yep. before him, right? Yeah. Which predates him. Manuscript is copying. Yeah. And he changes after he's writing something. He changes back again. Yeah. yeah. It tells you that he had a Quran manuscript. Um, which was a different one and he writes another one. 
what, what is what we're trying to understand here? Well, on? I think, well, um, obviously this is a question for intellectual discussion, but he suggests that there's flexibility on whether or not you can have he or you can have the word Allah. So no, at no, some no, point, no, no. the, the scribe... You're not even understanding my point. My friend, can I just finish? The same, just finish? Let me restate what finish. I'm saying. The same scribe, when he writes something, he writes and he realizes he's missed the whole phrase and then he then writes it again. Or he, re or he repeats the same word again on the next line and then he corrects it. In some occasions, but the one I'm excuse talking me, about... Excuse me, excuse me. Mate, you won't let me finish and then if I say something, you're like, whoa, 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 wait. Give me respect, let me speak, let me finish what I'm saying. Which example are you talking about? Let's talk okay. about this example. Okay, so I'm talking about... Um, Which example? Uh, Bring in your book. I'm going to have to try and find it. But, uh, sorry, it's dark. Because you seem to be pretty much, you know, immersed in this example which you think is so convincing. Well, it's just because it's quite a, a, a one I remember. Uh, I, I think the bottom, the bottom oh, line no, is that you've no, already no, accepted. No, you've right, you've already, you've so already... it's, it's basically, there's a manuscript in which, the, I think it was about eight different uh, times where they replaced the word he, with the word, as in it was originally he in Arabic, and then they overwrote it, probably the same scribe, with the word Allah. It doesn't change the meaning. Uh, well, see, what I'm saying though... Wrong. What do you mean wrong? He literally just points out in his book. Where? I've read his book, I've responded to his book. Where did he say there are eight examples of he being changed to Allah? Uh, in one of them, in only one of the it just put out one of the manuscripts. No, no, you there said the word. there are eight examples. I think there is eight, it might be less than but, one, I don't know. But... So your thinking is wrong. No, so I I'm remember this, look, I'm look. telling you. Okay, well, people that, people can go let and Let me look show and, you, let me show you. Okay, if you can find it, I'll appreciate I'll, it. I'll show you. So this is how you're going about evangelizing about, you know, how, Christianity is true because the Quran gets it all wrong and it's not preserved when you haven't even got a clue what even your scholars have to mate, say about mate, it. Mate, mate, if you're going to be rude. I'm not being rude, I'm being be very rude. blunt. No, you're being rude. If you're going I'm to not make being insults. rude. I, I'm not being rude. I'm Wait. saying what is straight. I, I literally just read this book, had some questions, asked some people, and yeah. then you come in and you start making accusations. No, 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 no. This is an example, he says. Look here. I can't remember where it is. But... Are you talking about where he inserts it? Uh, you know, it's, it's not an insertion, it's a replacement, I think. Replacement? Uh, I okay. think they replace the word he with the word Allah in a few in a few places. But I'm telling you, he doesn't show anywhere in where... In one manuscript. In eight, eight... You said about eight examples. So yes, in, in one manuscript. In one manuscript, yes, there can be many... words where he said he. No, in one manuscript, there can be several corrections because we know certain right. manuscripts... Look, certain manuscripts are written by scribes we were not very proficient in writing. This is well known in Quranic scholarship. People write manuscripts, people write manuscripts today. They handwrite manuscripts. They handwrite. So you can't equate this and saying, this was from a professor of the Quran who has memorized and he's changing his mind every now and then. Oh, it's not he, it's Allah. Oh, no, it's My Allah. Friend, he's he's not, he's, not, you're reading he, into Allah, it. He, Allah, he, Allah. Okay. Why would someone, okay, why would okay, someone think, why would See, someone, just... you think, such a proficient scribe keep deleting he and putting a line there. He a line there. He a line there. Here's an idea. What's Maybe he looked at the other manuscripts, like you said, and what he other went, manuscripts? Ah, the other manuscripts seem to be implying. What other manuscripts? What manuscripts? other manuscripts has what, that? What other None. manuscripts? None. But I'm telling you. You're there, telling me you didn't copy I, this from someone. What I'm saying is he doesn't provide any contemporary manuscripts in which you can say, there you go. Ah oh, look, there's another manuscript, another manuscript, and another manuscript. And this is where you find the same word, a variant, has been somehow suppressed because it was supposed to be a tradition. But what he brings is this particular example yeah. in which he can't bring substantiative evidence from other before contemporary or later manuscripts to make that point. Because you would expect, look, a reading tradition, remember, if the Quran was read by the Prophet no, 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 said differently, right? And that was taught by various people, so this chain of transmission will continue. You would expect them to write the same Quran within that particular reading. So when someone's now finding a Quran, why do we not find these readings continuing from X, Y, Z, all these centuries? Why do we find all the manuscripts go back to one specific exemplar, the prototype, what they're saying? Quran seems to be coming from the same one. Are you familiar with the works of Merain Van Putten? No. Are you familiar with the works of various other scholars in this field? No. So I suggest you read them. 
Okay. Get, Thank get, you. get, you know, familiar with scholarship. What the scholars have to say in regards to the shoe. If you give me others, I'll go read them. But he's an evangelical. He's an evangelical Christian. He's a Christian, yeah, but I don't but think he's evangelical a... Christian. So Yasser Qadi is a Muslim. No, no, no one goes, oh, Yasser Qadi, he can't do a proper is exegesis Qadi, of the is, text. Is Yasser Qadi a Quranic scholar on the textual yes. manuscripts? As far as my no, understanding. No, 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 but hold on a second. Are you going so to you tell me that? Are you going to trust Yasser Qadi's criticism of the Bible? Um. Well, it's not his field. It's like this guy's field is in the Bible. I, I, but what? Would, 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 you, would you trust? Oh, would you trust Yasser Qadi's criticism of the Bible? Um, well, like maybe not from a scholarly point of view, no. but he may make good so points. So why do you accept why, why? Brubaker, who is also a evangelical Christian? That, who, no, 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 you, no, can't, no. you can't dismiss someone. No, 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 hold on, saying, I haven't made my point yet. An evangelical Christian who you agree did not use a. Robust a, a robust methodology. No, no, I never said Hold on that. a second. You're putting words no, into my no, mouth. no. You know full well. No, I never said no. That. I asked. You said... I asked you. Would the correct methodology be to compare it to okay, manuscripts okay. that existed before, during, and after? And would it be the correct methodology to look at the oral tradition to see whether it confirms that or not? Okay. Before you write a book. Hold on a second. Claiming that there is somehow a flexible text which basically implies it's that it wasn't it wasn't confirmed yeah, but even read it, it, it wasn't <laughs> Does, Listen, did what it, do you mean by that? Did he not just say in his conclusion yeah, a flexible yeah, text? Flexible. What he means by that is there is an example in an early manuscript yeah. of a scribe who thought... What does flexible mean? It means uh, flexible meaning on the understanding of what is a correct term to write. Yeah. Is it the word he what does that or mean? is it the what word that, what Allah? Is the, what is the implication of using the word flexible? That you could either use the word he or you could use the word Allah. What does it mean to say that the text was flexible? There are variants in the word he or the word so Allah. Not, so, 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 that, he doesn't say so, that so, means so, the Quran is like... So therefore there's not one... Say, no, no, no. Therefore, wait, there you are then. therefore, it implies that there's not imply there's anything. not one uniform reading. Well, in the uh, early manuscript go tradition, yes. yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come as well. So, it, it, what it what it suggests is that there's not one unified reading or understanding of the Quran. Uh, from that scribe's point of view in that manuscript. That's what it suggests. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. That's fine because you pointed uh, 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 out uh, uh, there is another. Let did me, he, let me did he use no, the correct on, methodology to come to that sentence. conclusion? Let me finish the sentence. You have pointed out accurately that you can use other manuscripts to deter what the likely reading is meant to be. No problem with right. that. What I am saying to you though is that in your early manuscript tradition, there are manuscripts that do not conform with the standardized Hafs Quran today. So did in he? In the same way that that's true for the Bible. Okay. In the same way that's true you, for the Torah. You keep repeating the same thing, hoping. I'm saying, yeah, but yeah, you, you yeah, then yeah, yeah. Take yeah, but you, you simply so, are repeating is, the same uh, thing, hoping. Corrections in the early current You're, manuscripts. Oh, sorry, you guys having that? Okay, go on. You just asked me a question. No, go, go, please go ahead. Yeah, go on. No, no, go on. Explain to him the book that you, you're, you're talking about. He just asked me a question. He's, he's, he's like your master is telling you what to do. No, 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 he's, he's, no, he's, no, no, no it's not about being master. If I'm having a conversation yeah, with him saying, and, and then other people him. ask him a question about yeah. the book, he can say, sorry, I'm just having a conversation. After I finish, I just Okay, so now. He said they're flexible readings. Did he, did he use the correct methodology to enable him to reach that conclusion? So, give me a second. Let me see. Is that secret? It's not a secret. I'll show you. I'm just going to say. Yeah. Continue your conversation. Right, sorry. Did he use the correct methodology to come to that conclusion? <laughs> what conclusion? That's what I'm trying to say to you. Pay attention. No, 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 no. I've lose. already said the you're conclusion. The conclusion is actually really mild. The conclusion is that the text is flexible. No, that particular manuscript is flexible no, no, in no, terms no, of how the original no, scribe no, no. understood he, it. He didn't say just that particular text, did he? He said well, yes, the text. Yes, he gives examples of other manuscripts. The text is flexible. Yes, in terms of how some did scribes understood. Did he use understood. the correct methodology to arrive at the conclusion? Which is that you find the manuscripts and you find that they have been changed. Yes. He used the correct methodology. You're talking about a methodology that will tell you what the likely intended standardized meaning is. Did he use the correct methodology is. to arrive at that you're conclusion? You're asking me for a different question. Did he arrive? No, listen. Did he your, your use, question is wrong. Did he, did he use the correct methodology to arrive at that conclusion? Yes, by looking at a yes, manuscript okay. and finding that that manuscript Did he compare it to other words? manuscripts? Yes. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, if you want to find yes. out what the likely uh, yes, version yes. is, yeah. you no, that's okay. a correct so, for that so, question. So you said, so you said yes. For a different yes, question, okay. yes. which is about so, okay. the flexibility no problem, I can handle yes. of, of the <laughs> So you said yes. You said yes. Yes. You would just yes. look at that manuscript, and then you would look at you, it you said from yes. a paleography point of view you to said yes. understand. Man I don't know. Said I don't yes. know. Yes. You said yes. Just stop. You said, stop. You said yes. yes, bro. Just stop. But he keeps he keeps having no, this obsession with this Just stop. You said you said yes. You said earlier that the correct methodology would have been to compare it to... For a different question, oh, yeah. Hold on a second. For different questions, yeah. You said it would have been better to have compared well, the yeah, manuscripts that existed before, be during and after. Did he do that? 
No, because that's not what he's intending to show. So he didn't do that. Why did, why did he not do that? Right. No, because he wasn't. Why what he is it to irrelevant? Show. No. See, the why is irrelevant. What is relevant is that he didn't do that. He's only showing, he's, he's, the entire point of this book is to say there are manuscripts that do not correlate to the standardized you said Quran. He used the correct, it. You said he used the correct methodology to ascertain. To ascertain that there are not that there are that there are manuscripts flexible that do, readings. In that manuscript, just okay. that manuscript, okay. there are because there is fine. a scribe that is So you said yes, you, you said yes. That's it, yes. yes. So he shouldn't have compared it to the manuscripts that existed before, during That's and after. That's not what he's trying to answer. No, did he? Did he compare them? He's not them? answering that question. Did he compare them? No, because he's no. not answering that question. Should he question. have done so? Not for this question, no. no. he shouldn't have done so. Not for this question. So this question of the fact that this word was changed yep. or whatever. Yeah, you know, manuscript, He yep. should not compare that to the existing manuscripts that existed before, he's during and after. He's not trying to figure out what the intended words were. He was trying to understand why there are manuscripts that do not clarify to the Hafskran today. Do you realise how ludicrous that argument is. Wait, it's not like, even an argument. It's like, literally just me explaining what the intent of his I, work was. Explain, and you disagreeing with it. Shall I explain that to you? Because I, I think you really misunderstand. You don't even understand what he tried to do. You haven't even read the book. I, I, listen, I've read enough of it to know what he's going going at. I've watched enough of his videos. His conclusion. I've, I've watched enough of his videos to know exactly where he's coming from and where he's going. It's the most I know. toast conclusion no, 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 that no. you could ever Hold get. on a second. I'm losing his patience. Fundamental I'm losing patience. His fundamental argument is the Quran was not one preserved text. Is that correct? Not in the way that Islamic uh, is been understood. It's more like in the way that the Torah and the uh, Injil has been so, understood. So, yeah. so it was not one preserved text. We know that. Well, that's obvious because there were manuscripts that were accepted. Whether as being... it's obvious or not is irrelevant. That's his argument. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I do understand his argument, then, don't I? Yeah, but you're, yeah. you're trying to compare it to a different argument. No, 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 no. A different no, argument no, is no, what was no, the likely no, correct no, version. No, 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 no. Based no, off no, the number no. of manuscripts and so other things. So number one, and uh, number one, I understand about. his argument, don't I? Yeah, from what you said before. Right, yeah. and he uses evidence to support that argument, doesn't he? Yeah, which was showing the manuscripts that uh, do not agree with the Hadith right. Quran today. Yeah. Right, and did he use manuscripts that existed before, during and after to make That's sure... That's not relevant to what he just said, Hold on a second. That's not relevant, Okay, let me just explain something to you. Okay. When you have a variant, what are the possibilities of that variant arising? Is that a question he's trying to address in his book? I'm asking you. Doesn't want to answer. Doesn't want to answer. You know that's not what he's trying to do. If a variant exists, book. what are the possible ways that variant can exist? Many different ways. He goes into uh, scribal error. I'm is asking one you. One way is that there is, as he interprets, yeah. a flexibility scribal and error. The acceptability. Scribal error. You can say he or Allah. How would you ascertain whether it's a scribal error or not? Uh, based on the context, based on looking at through studies of paleography, the actual thing. You can also go to other ones and, and understand that. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Did he but do that's that? That's not his intent. Did he do that? He's not aggressive. You're not addressing my no, point. No, no. I'm asking you whether you, he did you that. You want or not. to make the argument about something different? No, I'm not making a different argument at all. I'm not going no, into that no, argument. No. Look, I'm only let me let me explain something to you. Is... I've got to pray now, right? And I'm going to conclude now. If I make an argument against the Bible, okay. you're a Christian, right? Sure. Yeah. And I say the Bible is corrupt. Sure. Yes. And I provide you evidence that okay. demonstrates why it's corrupt. Yeah. Not just from my own opinion, but from the majority of your own scholars yeah, yeah, yeah. who say that it is corrupt sure. because we don't have the originals. Sure, yeah. Well, yes? we don't have the originals of anything. You don't have the originals of the, of the Bible, right? The Quran. Yeah. Well, so you, that's your argument. But your argument, as we've seen, has failed, right? Now, well, I just made that. Now, I have, no, now, now, now yeah. you have to, you can mm. question me. What is your methodology? How have you arrived at this position? But we're not interested in that. That's not the no, no. question. Well, we should be interested yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. For a we should question, be. Then, but then you should, speak to the right we should be. You should speak to I the right people. I agree with you. Good point. Very and good point. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna pick up a, a, a very good point, an Indian person, and, and, and let them tell me about your exactly. Bible, that's sabotage. So I agree it's with the you. Same what you ah, do very good point. You see, look. When you, yes. when you catch a Christian and yes. you kiss them and. He, Okay, yes. when, you, when you speak to a true Israelite, yes, yes, then yes. we can speak yes. about the problem. So brother, you know who he's quoting? He's, he's hiding his book. An evangelical, <laughs> e evangelical <laughs> Christian. You make a very good point, yeah? You make a very good point, yeah? He's quoting an evangelical Christian exactly. who's telling me... He's telling me that my Quran is not preserved. Exactly. When I'm now questioning his method, I'm not discarding him because he's Christian. I would. I'm not. But I'm yeah, not no, doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. I'm not. Yeah, I'm saying. Perfect. I'm saying. I'm, no, 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 no. Uh, what I'm saying. You did, my okay, I did say that. Yes. Okay, that's but what that's I'm yes, saying. What I'm saying to you that that does not necessarily mean that his his uh, his works are discarded. But what I would do, of course, just as any human being would do, if you've got a dog in the race. 
I'm going to be a little bit more skeptical with what you say, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, so, fair, so, so, so yeah, if yeah. I'm a Muslim and I'm saying, oh, Islam is wonderful, it's great, you might, you can, you can logically, rationally, you can say, well, you would say that you're a Muslim, no, you're right? Israelite. Yeah, no, absolutely. right, right. Absolutely. So now, Israelite would never so, now so now, so now, so now, I, I have, I have a reason to be perhaps okay. Well, he's an evangelical Christian. We know how the intra-religious discussions are going between Christians and Muslims, yeah. right? And textual criticism, it tends to be one of the hot topics, yeah, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so I'm sure, not, are, it's yeah. not, un, uh, 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 let's say, unfair of me to perhaps be a little bit skeptical. Yeah, yeah, we'll get, so what yeah. will I do? I will look at his methodology. What is the methodology he's adopted in order to come to this conclusion of <laughs> flexible text? Yeah, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that fair, brother? Yeah? yeah. 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 Is that fair? Is that fair? Okay. So now when I, so now when I, so when I do that, so now when I do that, through your own admission, the methodology is faulty and you're still quoting him. Exactly. No. Go home, man. The intent of this. The intent of the time. You know what I mean? Bedtime. Anyway, I've got to pray. You know what? I can't keep going over this again and again. Through your own methodology, his methodology is wrong. And you're still quoting him verbatim. Stop like bashing, as if he's. Stop bashing ah, white know. Christian about the Bible because that's. I don't do. We're not here to bash. We're yeah, not here to bash, brother. No, but. We're not here to bash. But if something is, if, look, brother, if you're doing something that I feel is going to cause you harm, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm going to say, brother, I don't do that. It's going to cause you harm. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. If you're a good Christian and you think that you're on, on hack on the truth and you think I'm going to harm myself, you're going to say, brother Abbas, don't be a Muslim. You've got to be a Christian. And these are the reasons. Yes. Well, I believe that Muslims should be Muslims and Israelites should. Because the book, uh, I think the book we should, we should, we should, we should, brother, we should arrive at the truth, not arrive at what our forefathers exactly. did or what anyone tells that's us true, to do. That's true. Yeah? Evidence, that's why, evidence. That's why I would love to have a Alhamdulillah. Brothers, take your microphone. Yeah. I've got to go and pray Maghrib. <laughs> okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, who's the microphone? Is that? Which one? You need to.